Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and it's about time that we build some railway catenaries. So if you don't know what catenaries are, that's just the name for these overhead lines, uh, the infrastructure behind it. So I have two designs here. One is from the Netherlands, and one is from um, France and Germany, like the high-speed rail, like the ICE-3 and the TGV, they'll use uh, this design. Although you can make it for um, other railways if they have like a similar one, this is pretty common. And um, yeah, for um, the distance in between the catenaries, if you're wondering, it is 55 blocks in between each of them. And just be aware of that. So I'm going to be starting off with the Dutch one. So <clears throat> to build it, we're going to have uh, these two tracks here with three blocks of space in between and then two blocks of space in between that outer edge of the track and uh, the catenary pole. So I'm going to build it the base right here which is a block of polished andesite and then we're going to take um, cobblestone wall and make it 15 blocks tall so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and then we're going to go to the other side do the same thing remember two blocks of space in between 15 blocks tall so 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, you know what? Let's just build the pole first. So let's go over here to the top of it. I believe, yeah, that's one block down. So right over here, just add a stone slab row that goes all the way across. And one thing you have to uh, realize about uh, this type of catenary, they like to change um, every other side. So as you can see on this side it's uh, on the left and on the next one it's on the right and that's because it just um, lowers the stress of the thing <laughs> I don't know what to call it, the wire perhaps and to uh, last longer so the, you have to like switch it uh, every other one or you can have like um, one of them in the middle and then it doesn't matter which side it's on because it's on both so yeah that is for the last catenary so let's go back over here and we're going to start off on uh, the left side like that one. So take our iron trap door and then how are we going to do this? How many blocks is that underneath? One, two, three, and four. So try to go down four. One, two, three, four. Like right over here. So there should be one, two, three and then four well sort of <laughs> it should look like this basically and then we're going to extend it so it's four blocks across and then we would have uh, these little bumps on top so there's actually more wire than this but I'm not going to build it because there's going to be way too much so I just added this iron trap door right above where the overhead lines are which you don't even have probably so uh, just add like a black stain glass pane at the end of this iron trap door and there should be let's go over here to the iron trap door just skip a block and then replace this one with a birch fence and then skip three birch fence then go underneath try to make like this triangular shape with it like so because it is a triangle it goes down one and then we need to add uh, the iron trap door underneath like that towards uh, the right and then make it three blocks long and then there'll be um, another black stained glass pane right there I'm gonna have an iron trap door right above where the overhead line is so yeah um, is that actually it? no it's not uh, we need to add a light gray carpet on top and that's just to cover up the fences because they're not really connected to anything right now just cover that up like so and that's how you build it and uh, you would basically just flip it the other direction so uh, that goes on the right side and then move that over there to make that one so make that every other block or you can just have it on uh, both sides like this and then you don't even have to worry about anything so anyways let's move on to uh, the second design so this is for high-speed rail really fast trains 
uh, they'll use this, or if you just think it's cool, you can use this as well. Uh, so this time I made the tracks uh, closer together because I think this is like the most accurate design, like how far the tracks are in between. And yeah, we just had two blocks in the middle, then two tracks, and then two blocks on the outer edge of space in between that and the bottom of the catenary. So let's build it. And uh, if you have like one track, it's fine as well. You don't have to have two tracks. Just be aware of that. And we're going to make it um, it's not as tall as that one. So let's say 12 blocks tall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's make it 13 blocks actually. And then we're going to have iron trap door and then place that on the very uh, top block on the side and make it uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Then add an uh, iron uh, bar underneath it at the very edge and then a black stained glass pane underneath that. And that is the overhead line which you can extend like that. Then we're going to have an iron trap door on the side of the overhead line and then two on the right of it and then we need to make like this diagonal shape with uh, stone slabs that go right next to the iron bar and then just make a diagonal with the stone slabs to reach um, the pole and we're also going to add in this diagonal with the upside down stone brick stairs like that so you can just have like one track you don't need two tracks but if you had two tracks it would look like this all right, so yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build uh, railway catenaries. Now, I also have uh, some other designs. So if you're interested, I have like the Northeast Corridor. If you're into that, uh, we have that as well. And there also is like advanced uh, catenary designs. Uh, like at stations, they usually have it because they have a lot of tracks. So they have like these giant um, bar ones. And this, there's just like so many variations of them on like even the same railway they have a ton of them so it would be really hard to make a video on all of them so I just stuck to the basics for now but if you want you can request an advanced one or maybe if you want like another country uh, design you can comment that below but anyways if you guys like this video please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time bye